特捜隊による宇宙パトロールが行われていたこちらビートルズ井出20000マイルズ Going through the outer space zone All is alright This is headquarters We have read you loud and clear Keep up the good work Ito Oh Ito Up ahead
following day, the first stellar rocket to Mars was set for launching. The countdown was about to begin. Two, one, zero. Congratulations. We're all proud. Thank you. Now, if we can only get past the ionosphere, we'll see. Hmm. The stellar rocket is going as calculated. We'll know in five seconds. from space. The stellar rocket had crashed into a monster that had been floating in the ultra zone on its way to Mars. why it's doing that. Structure. Hmm. 
Let's go. to land. We won't attack till then. Roger. wants to return to its star. Mm -hmm. How are we going to return it to its own star out there? Captain, I suggest we all ask the scientists for the space rocket. It's worth a try. Only the rocket has the strength to transport it. that your rocket hit the creature when it went through the ionosphere. And you think the monster wants to return to its home? Right. I have an idea. What are the chances of tying the creature to the rocket? But, Professor, the rocket costs a fortune. We need it for important research. That rocket was constructed for a landing on Mars. Even though it's hard luck, we'll have to face it. We'll do as he suggests. Our rocket will send the creature home. We can always send another rocket aloft. However, we cannot afford to have the creature destroying our country. Doctor, you are wise. Hmm. The rocket was transported to where the monster was located. What happened? I was successful. They agreed to use the rocket to get the monster back to space. That's really great news, Captain. <laughs> I knew they would think of the creature's feelings. I think it knows that we care. The creature is so used to its residence in space that it keeps looking there. It's really amazing that a creature can be lonely when it's lost. I don't see how the monster could go back to that lonely graveyard. I can. It's the only place where there's a little peace and quiet. 
I think monsters know that no matter what star they land on, they will always have trouble existing. The graveyard of monsters in that ultra zone is probably the only place where they can rest without worry. We'll just have to hope he won't get one. to fire now. Good. Stand by. All right. Begin countdown. Ten. Nine. He's going to take the creature to the Ultra Zone for us. Hmm. The tremendous energy Ultraman gets from the sun diminishes rapidly in Earth's atmosphere. The warning light begins to blink. Should it stop completely, it will mean Ultraman will never rise again. 
and knowing he has only seconds before his time is up, he is forced to return to Earth. Ayata! Ayata! Are you all right? Quickly, help him! Oh, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. The monster caught me by surprise. What happened? I don't understand. Ultraman tried to get the monster into space, but couldn't do it. And our planes don't have the power to lift the monster. Even if we try another, he'll only destroy it again. There's only one other way. What? Have the rockets look like Ultraman. The creature knows that Ultraman tried to return it to space. Ah, now I get the idea. The creature will know the rocket is friendly like Ultraman. to the rocket. In the first plane, Ito and Arashi. Hayata, you're in charge of the second aircraft. Yes, sir. I'll continue giving the orders on the ground. Yes, yes sir. sir. Get ready. Almost ready to leave. Science Patrol performed its routine check of space. The Ultra Zone, the graveyard of monsters. The only place for lonely creatures to find peace and quiet. Even in the brutal nature of monsters, there is the tender longing for communication among their own kind. <laughs> <laughs> 